called Sumner Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here with AJ Wiltrout hey guys. and Andy Gain. Hello. We are at Cascades, um, and we're going to talk about what kind of beers and food that they have here and what they're doing um, to keep customers safe in the times of COVID. And, but I want to start out with how the story of, of how your business started. Um, well, well, I mean, we, we've been around since the uh, beginning of 2018 uh, here serving beer in Puyallup, having fun. Um, we basically started out as just an idea of wanting to bring the best beer that's in our region to our community, uh, saving you the trip to Seattle, Tacoma, Bellingham, wherever else. Yeah. Uh, but we're just two buddies that have had a craft beer passion for a long time and wanted to share with Puyallup. Nice. Andy, when did you guys open the business? Uh, February 2018, um, after we worked nights and weekends and uh, built and designed a bar for the first time. So um, everything you pretty much see here was a choice of me and or AJ's uh, negotiation skills between each other <laughs> and, uh, and a lot of uh, long nights and long weekends. Um, so, but it was a cool process and it us a lot about ourselves. Yeah. And I understand you both have day jobs, right? This is Correct. a side, yep. yeah, yeah, labor of love. This is a passion project. Uh, we're lucky that we have wonderful wives, uh, really supportive staff that's understanding of our need to be here when we can. Um, but yeah, we're we're really fortunate to be able to juggle day jobs and have an incredible business in this case. Nice. And you have a full. You're open for lunch and dinner. Uh, yeah, we're open, uh, you know, uh, what is it, Tuesday through Thursday is right now 11 to, or 1 to 9. Yeah, we're running, we're kind of late for lunch right now, but that's just because kind of COVID impacts. Sure. We have reduced staff levels, and we're also trying to, uh, during the early week, we're trying to run a single shift so that we don't have transfer between staff. We don't want them necessarily engaging and interacting more than they have to. So for right now, we're running kind of a, a single shift during the week, uh, during the weekend. We are open at 11. You can come see us on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, Sundays. Come have lunch with us. So our hours are Tuesday through Thursday, 1 to 9, and then Friday and Saturday, 11 to 11, and then Sunday, 11 to 7. Okay. And, um, you know, I've been in here a few times, and I like how it is family-friendly. You've got the bar area kind of cordoned off. Um, which is great. Are you, so you're open for dine-in? So your right now we're doing dine-in. It is 21 and over for dine-in okay. on Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Uh, all ages day is Sunday right now. Um, just with the reduced occupancy, we also wanted to centralize families. We're already closed Mondays. That gives us a day to kind of clean and re-sanitize, yep. um, kind of reset for the next, uh, next week, you know. Um, and so families are welcome to come and dine in, but they can all come throughout the week to grab to go or curbside. Good. If they have their children with them, they can still enter the space, but uh, Tuesday through Saturday is 21 and over for on-site during phase two. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. And, yeah, I mean, and we're excited to be able to bring yeah. families back in, but right now we have to take all the beans out. It's oh, just sure. a sanitization issue, right? Absolutely. There's no way to make sure that every game is being cleaned immediately after someone touches it. So. We just we figured we're going to structure the space to be as compliant as possible uh, until we all get through this. Perfect. Right. And I want to hear more about that um, in a minute, but I also want to talk about so the beers you have. How many taps are on that thing? So we have uh, 33 taps of okay. draft options that include cider, gluten free, all your beer styles, and then also craft root beer, which people love. Um, overall, between the cans, cider bottles, and draft, we have over. Cider options usually at all times. Maybe a little bit of seltzer, wow. you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you, and we also have six wines on tap, three whites, three reds, um, and then we can also, uh, for the to-go models, we can put things in growlers, and then also our 32 ounce growler machines, which are 32 ounce cans, okay. um, so we can can all our draft and our wine. Um, Interesting. Yep, we can can on site, yep. and we use a cake wine system, so it never oxidizes. Um, so even though we are kind of beer focused. We make sure we have a really high quality wine selection gotcha. uh, that does not go bad because of the system that we've implemented for it. So. so someone could come in here and taste beers and then get a can 
Some hands to go? Normally. Right. Normally. Okay. Not normally right now. During okay. phase two, there is no tasting. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, that's right. You know, so yep. you got to put faith in our I'm qualified staff. <laughs> qualified, yeah, if you put faith in our qualified staff, they'll usually find yeah, uh, yeah. something that will, you know, match the palate that you yeah. they're, prefer. They're trained on their style, so yeah. if you come in and say, hey, I like a mayonnaise, yeah. they're going to say, do that. you know, <laughs> uh, they're going to go, hey, I bet you you're going to like this. Sure. Um, and, and we find that our staff is pretty skilled at being able to navigate the tabs and help the customers. So. I admit, I have walked into many an establishment saying, I, <laughs> I like, like mayonnaise. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> like what that. do you have for me? So um, that's awesome. So uh, I was going as far as like the breweries and, and cideries that you represent, are mostly local kind of? Yeah, it's all local stores. independent uh, mm -hmm. breweries uh, from, you know, we have Washington, Oregon, California, Florida. Uh, okay. uh, so it's a heavy rotation. We don't have very many constant offerings when something blows cave wise we're changing that to a new beer from maybe the same brewery or somebody else uh, well so. the idea is is that we make sure we have the stuff that you know you want you know yeah. so we're going to have some stuff from fremont we're going to have stuff from georgetown and, okay. and we even got rainier on tap at all times right <laughs> so it's a it's a we know that there's some things that we need to have but beyond that we want people to be exposed to the new and the different right. Um, so we'll go and we'll, we'll hand select stuff from local breweries that we know folks aren't going to necessarily know to go try. Mm -hmm. We bring it back here and, uh, and let people get to check it out here in Cal. So That's great. I can't wait to come back when uh, tasting is open again and sample some yeah, yeah, local craft brewers. Normally we'll pour little flights so they're little uh -huh. five ounce pours and you can try a bunch of different cool stuff from local breweries. Nice. Uh, and they, there's a lot of them. I mean, there's great breweries here. Powerhouse is one of them, yep. right? We're lucky enough to have them here in town, but um, you've got guys like Sig and Tacoma that are opening up, Seven Seas. There's just a ton of amazing local brewers. Well, that's great. I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you what your favorite craft beers are, if you want to say that. You don't it's have to. <laughs> hey, I mean, if I was going to say or... my favorite beer that I've had mm -hmm. this last two weeks is probably Georgetown's LA Woman, which is a, a Kolsch. It's a lighter beer oh, uh, and a limited beer that they've been running, and I've been really enjoying that. Thank you, Georgetown. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know I'm a Georgetown <laughs> fan. Right. Wait, how about you? Uh, that's a tall order. Uh, <laughs> depends on the style, the mood, the day. Yeah. Um, I've always said that my favorite is open and in me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and a can, or can bottle or keg are also great options. Uh, so I mean, I've been drinking a lot of pilsners and kolsch's and lagers also lately. Uh, their you know three-way IPA just came out from Fort George, so that's been sought after as of yesterday. We, definitely move through some of those products. I mean, so it's really, there's a lot of beers we bring in our customers are banking for too, right? And uh, so um, I can't really give you my favorite beer. I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize is how fast beer moves. Um, and that there are just these little microcosms of time where it's like this amazing beer came out and it's gone two weeks later and you never see it again. And so that's really what we focus on is bringing that stuff in that we know is just it's here yeah. and it's gone so that people get a chance to check them out. And then also highlighting the core beers or the, the you know, staple beers that are out there like a Manny's or other things because they're just as delicious. And, and so you have kind of different likes between the customers and the ones that are looking for the latest and greatest now, but also the ones that are just looking for a solid beer. But it's, it's not just about the local stuff too. We really try and educate folks here in Puyallup on what's available out there. So we'll bring in Lambics all the way from oh, Belgium. Yeah. Yep. You know, um, we'll bring in, we've had a, a Czech beer night, or it was all Czechoslovakian, actual okay. imported beer. Um, right. You know, we'll do fun stuff like that. We make sure people are trying sours, they're trying wild ales, they're trying barley wines, and there's all these different varieties of beer that people don't necessarily get exposed to. We try and make sure that it's in here and yeah. people get a chance to see what's happening out there in the beer world. Yeah, that's great because it seems like around here, when people talk about craft beer, they're always talking about IPAs. That's yeah, kind right. of the jam of the Northwest. It's definitely um, an IPA market. Uh, we, sell, <laughs> we definitely sell more IPAs than anything, but we make sure that people know, hey, there's a whole world of beer, mm -hmm. and, and it's, on, it's on our taps. There's a rainbow of beer on these taps. And it's fun to watch, too, as people regular, you know, visit our spot regularly and, you know, always came in for this, but now they're trying this, and now they've graduated to this. And, yeah. And, and it's like, I never thought I'd like this. I just saw that and it was 
just never appealed to me. So it's been fun through the last, you know, almost three years is going now to watch customers that came in stuck in a way and now yeah. chasing a breath of beer, yeah. um, you know, throughout our space. So I think this is, this is great. This, it's such a cozy, inviting space in here, right downtown Puyallup. Um, well, so I'm looking around and I see that we have some signs here um, reminding people to keep their distancing. First of all, when you come in, do you do you encourage your folks to wear masks as they arrive? Yes, we, okay. we encourage everybody yep. to wear masks. We even have masks for people yep. to use. Oh, masks that's great. available for. Uh, yeah, so anybody that doesn't have a mask can uh, use one, obviously, to order. We have a hand sanitizing station at great. the door. So as you're coming in and as you're leaving, you can make sure that you're you've mm -hmm. sanitized appropriately. Um, we have set up the space where everything is a proper six foot distancing. Um, we were very, we were very strict about our head count in here right now. Mm -hmm. We want to do everything we can to keep the community safe and our staff safe. Absolutely. Right? Um, because we know that this, if we do this right, we can hopefully get through this. Yeah. And we have, you know, 22 seats total with the reduced occupancy. Um, our staff is sanitizing things after mm -hmm. everything's touched table. We have a extra two hour cleaning cycle on top of that um, and uh, yep. and so yeah it, it definitely is a focus of ours to make sure that we're uh, all the way compliant in the in the current times that we live in so right and then so you have table service or do you so order do at not. the counter so right now we right now we're we're operating as essentially you come up here mm -hmm. you order in front we have a location for pickup at the end here oh great um which is has worked out well um in that it limits our interaction between yeah. our staff and customers. Okay. Uh, which is something that Tacoma Pierce County has yeah. asked us to do if we can. So that's our, our answer. And even in schedule, we're trying to pair our staff and teams oh, that's to great. have this limited crossover between our own staff um, just to ensure that if the worst case did happen, that it's hopefully as isolated as possible. Um, I'm just looking at your menu too. So yeah, yeah. you've got your full menu going. So we've evolved our menu. A lot of people, the, the new Cascades before COVID, also loved our hot dogs. Um, unfortunately, the hot dogs are uh, not part of our, our plan moving forward. We've moved to a cold cut and a hot sandwich, and we're still kind of evolving that sure. from phase two into hopefully phase three, phase four, you know, whenever that comes. We'll um, still run the hot dogs once in a while, guys. Yeah, we promise. <laughs> But yeah, we just uh, found with the uh, change in occupancy flow of customers and other things, we had to get to a product that wasn't always just based on volume. Right. Um, um, so it's, it's you know, unfortunately I love the hot dog too, but there's an awesome place in Tacoma that I'll go grab hot dogs <laughs> from also. So, um, so yeah, it's been, we're just kind of playing as we did in phase one to just evolve to what we will look like permanently on the other side of this. Gotcha. Well, and you can certainly order, so you can order your food online and come pick it up curbside and yep. you can order growlers too. Yeah, yep. we're nice. also available yes. on DoorDash okay. as well. Nice. So it's, we have, there's different ways to uh, to get our stuff. You can pick up here, you can have it delivered, um, you can come dine in, you know, come hang out with us. We're gonna give you a, a safe environment to do it in. That's awesome. That's a good way to wrap up. Anything else you wanna add? Um, well, I hope, uh, you know, I, we definitely hope that you guys come by if you feel comfortable to do so and, and conduct business with us in the fashion that is safe to you. Uh, again, if that's curbside pickup inside the space, um, or if you feel comfortable enough to dine in and, and hang out with us, um, we're just, uh, hopefully you'll see us, um, but we want everybody to stay safe. We want our staff to stay safe. I think that's the most important thing right now uh, so we can keep going forward in phases and hopefully not back. Um, and we appreciate the community yeah. because they Thank definitely you all. Uh, kept us afloat through a very odd time for business. And uh, without our, our locals, our, our uh, just community in general, we, it would have been tough to survive from you know March and April and May and June. Yeah. <laughs> and so we definitely appreciate them. Without them, we would not be here right now having this interview. Yeah. Um, so we appreciate you, Cal. Thank you so much for your support, your continued support. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys in here hanging out with us.